gamers and welcome back to the void I am Craig DB and if you have seen my last video you will have seen that I have recently set up an oculus rift and with that I am much enjoying getting back into elite dangerous which you can see here I'm just in the uh, the start screen or the the cop the, the I don't know what you would call it the the cargo but not the cargo bay but you know the ship bay or whatever ready to go in and start uh playing away interestingly enough an eagle there even though i hardly ever fly an eagle doesn't even look like my ship but hey who cares this is the intro screen it's obviously not customized there i digress today i wanted to go into because i've been getting back into elite dangerous a bit uh, one of my friends put me onto something. Uh, now, just a bit of history here as far as my playing. I did play quite a bit early on, sort of part of the beta uh, group and so forth before Horizons, all of that sort of thing. But uh, learning how to play the game a bit early on, and one of the things I I tended to collect ships and not trade them in. And money was never something that I really got a lot of. I seemed to miss a lot of the opportunities there. I'm not exactly sure why. But I got put onto this one little thing, and this is what I wanted to talk about today. So I'm just going to get in. We'll go into open play to begin with, and we'll go into that detail a little bit later. So I am here at Miller's Port. Miller's Port is in the Quint system. And this is basically an exploit. Uh, you could call it an exploit, I guess. It seems to be particular to the Quint system. I haven't done a lot of research myself. It may be something you can do in other systems. Everyone seems to go to the Quint system. I think a lot of it is to do with its easiest here because of the location and the proximity and so forth. The exploit is uh, surface scanning missions. So we'll go in right now we'll have a look at the surface mission so we'll go into the mission board we'll just see what's available right now at the moment we've got some rep we'll go in here some more rep uh, donations here we go we've got a planetary scanning job this one here is a four hundred thousand dollar job this at this stage is quite low I'm going to accept that one we'll go in here here's another one six hundred thousand I'll accept that one as well now the big issue is these all go to the same place you basically go to the same place and you complete them all at the same time and the location you go to in quince especially is really close now it might be a, a little bit of a glitch in the quince system i don't really know whether that's the case or not like i say i haven't looked a lot into it so if i look at transactions i've got two jobs at the moment so what i can now do though and this is what they talk about. So they talk about the uh, Quint system and board hopping. It didn't seem to go into a lot of detail, but I looked into it and talked to my friend and stuff. And what board hopping basically means is this. We're in open play. We will now exit to the main menu. Now, the story goes that you change to private group, you change to solo mode, things like that. I've found... We'll have a look here, but if we go into private group, we'll just go into my private group. Didn't seem to make a lot of difference. So we seem to have the same missions. It's got all glitchy again. Same missions, same missions. They're all done there. So I've found that for the most part, you basically just go between online and offline mode, essentially. So now we'll go back in. And this time we'll go into solo mode. Look at the mission board again. And this time it looks like we've got some different stuff. Look at that. We've got another two missions here. Go over here. There's another two missions. These are all fairly low paying. What I did find is you start off like that. But you'll notice on a lot of these, uh, it's hard to see right now. But you'll see that a lot of these guys, I've got pretty high reputation with these guys because I've been doing this for a little while now. And as a result, you can get missions that are over a million dollars just for that one mission. So if I have a look here, we've got them all coming in now. But you can hear the missions coming in, and as they come in, new ones pop up. 
The other thing you'll see here, you get like 12 hours, 18 hours, 4 days, 2 days. They're a long time to complete these missions, which makes it a lot easier to do this, this board hopping thing. So I will go back, I'll do another run on the board hopping, but I've pretty much found... Now, I don't know if uh, over time you can just sit here for a while and just collect them all up. But I've found that it does sit for quite a while. We'll go back into open play. We'll just have a quick look in open play and see if anything's changed. Because uh, I've found it doesn't really change too much. You may as well just go through a cycle like that. Pick up what you can and go do it. Come back. Sometimes you get lucky though. I've had times where I've had collected up enough missions to do like 10 million in one hit, in one run. Again, we're still back at these same missions. I've heard, I'm welcome to comments on this, but I've heard that say every 15 minutes they update the boards with different missions. Um, so, theoretically you can sit there for a while and just wait and wait and wait and build them all up and do them all at once. For the time being though, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six missions all loaded up. Um, we're at, what am I at, 97.5 million right now. So based on that, let's see how much I actually make going to do these missions. So yeah, for those who have been looking around and not familiar with it, at least now, you see there, that's what board hopping is. It's basically going out of the game, going back in in a different mode. Now there's the planet there. So basically, it can be in different spots depending on how you rotate out and different times of the day, all of that sort of stuff. But it's usually not too hard to find it. And today it's actually pretty quiet. I found most of the time you can see there's one other player in the area. From what I can tell, I can't see any others. He's now disappeared because I'm out of range. We'll go into cruise. You'll often see a lot of other players in the area because this is a popular place for making money, from what I can see. So, Cosmala re Rewards. There it is. So again, we'll just quickly go through, clear these, and let's head down to the outpost. It kind of annoys me, as much as it's, a, it's handy, but it's also kind of immersion breaking, the fact that it suddenly the planet lights up when you get in range, even though we're on the dark side of the planet. It would be kind of cool if it stayed just completely dark and this isn't a spot where you actually had to use your lights to be able to see uh, the ground and things like that. And it would make more sense that on the dark side of the planet it is completely dark, you just got to rely on sensors and lights and stuff. Personal opinion, I'm sure there's a lot of people who would disagree because they think it would just be a lot harder. It might be that it just makes it too hard and that's why they've done it the way they have. Dropping, in, dropping into glide. Now you'll see here, this is what I was saying, the one annoying thing is, uh, if you've got like 10 or more missions, clearing these all the time gets really annoying. So essentially these will, you can see that, searching, it will keep looking for locations until it actually reaches an actual out, outpost. Sometimes you can even see the outpost before it locks in on it. Okay, that's just gone around behind me somewhere. Where is it? Aha! It has now found the outpost. Usually you'll see a couple of ships taken off as you approach it. It's kind of funny that's almost like it's a built-in mechanic of the, the game that it will always do that. It'll generate some ships to take off. Whoop. Coming in a little fast. Let's reverse thrust. Okay. Now we'll just find ourselves a place to land. Let's get our landing gear down. Now you might see some 
guys float flying around. Sometimes it's completely safe and they don't bother you. There are times where those guys get hostile and they'll start shooting at you and they are nasty. They are not friendly vehicles if they do decide to attack. And there is a turret there, a ground turret that will start attacking you. That for the most part is the really tricky part. Now sometimes you just fly past this point and the mission will just come up complete. Other times you've got to get out into your SRV which we will do. You'll notice there my mothership hull is 10%. I forgot to repair it. This is from an instance where they got hostile at me. And this is an ASP. They are not a lightweight ship. Sometimes you just kind of cruise around in your ship in your SRV and it'll find it. Other times you've got to actually scan the data port and that's the most annoying part and I've, I would love to see if there's some sort of suggestion on how to make this part easier. You'll see these kind of hot doggy looking bits sticking up here. They are the data ports. So we've got to find a way to get close to those and you'll probably find it'll say we're trespassing in a sec. There we go, that was the trespass uh, warning. There's the data point. And basically select that, there we go, oh, yeah. If I hold down on the scan, sometimes it starts to scan, sometimes it doesn't. It's really, I don't fully get why. You do have to select it for, for your system to, to target onto it. And it's not always easy and I can imagine that if you don't have uh, some sort of head tracking you got to do the in, in, in game like your, your mouse look or something to get it to look around to point at it and that's the part that would be really uh, really annoying it's easier when you've got the rift and it probably has that in mind I'm really nervous about those ships they're flying around they're not bothering me right now now I'm waiting for that thing to go down Because it seems that that's when it's easiest to... There he goes. There we go, I'm now scanning. You just hold down the... Uh, you'll see there, data link scanner is my secondary we uh, weapon. And that's what you hold down to do the scan. You click it once to select the object. Then hold down to do the scan. You'll see all my updates there. I'll just go to my mission board. Well, my comms board. And you'll see, well done, Commander Scan complete. So those jobs are now done. And there's a few little encrypted files, a few little bits and pieces they do actually bring up. I really don't know if they're important to hold on to or not. Cracked industrial firmware. But when you do the actual data scan, it seems that that's the extra stuff that pops up when you do it. This is where it's handy to actually have just a little sidewinder or something with the SRV in because one thing about these missions unlike a lot of other missions is they are not ones that fail on ship destruction so you can actually be destroyed and still have the missions available to go back and do and again it doesn't take very long to get back to Miller Port so we'll just wait till the uh, engages now let's find Miller Port which is over this way. Where is he? He's in behind the planet at the moment. So we'll just get up enough altitude. And we'll see it's coming into range very shortly anyway. I've noticed some people have really uh, worked out the timing here to be able to come in rocketing in at a really fast speed. And just drop the just fast, just going slow enough. Like I've just gone outside the range to drop. Theoretically, I can bring my speed back a little bit. Here we go, and in we go. Nacon, Charlie, Romeo, Alpha. The Empire cordially welcomes you. Please complete landing procedures for the not allocated time slot. Thank you, Empire. 
26, I say. There's 26. Maintain your approach, Commander. Ground service is already and waiting for your arrival. 27, 26. And we're in. Landing complete. You may alight when ready. Enjoy your stay, Commander. Your comfort is our top priority. So these ones are pretty, pretty lightweight. We're up to, we haven't even cracked 28 million yet. Here we go, we just did 28 million there. get to 20 will we get to actually 28 no, 98 is what I meant to say will I actually beat 90 crack 99 yes I just got to 99 so I made about 2 million in nearly 2 million in that run that was a light run that really was a light run and at the moment there's not much else going so I'll go do one more run so I will be back I'll just uh, cut it from here and I'll see what I can do to try and crank up a few... Oh, there's a big ship just cruising in there. Uh, I'll do. A, I'll see what I can do to, crack up, uh, to build up a few missions and I'll be back just to show what is possible. Okay, so I don't know if you just witnessed there, but on the dot of nine o'clock, the mission board changed. So I think it is on those quarter hour intervals, because I'm pretty sure at 8.45, it changed as well. So on those quarter hour intervals, I believe it changes. I didn't even log out and back in, it just changed. So the main factor, I believe, is just the extra now I did some checking and in solo in open play and in private group the missions were the same so I believe it's just a case of solo mode has a different set of missions so I'm now in solo mode so I'm going to just go back into open play they have changed but we still haven't got some good uh, missions at this stage so I'm having a bit of not so good luck this time around at the moment I've only got three transactions and now admittedly one of them is worth a million credits they've all got at least a day so I can sit back and I can just check every 15 minutes and just see what I can crank up so I'm going to do that for a little bit. Hello, Gold Dream. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh, good day, good day. Yep. And uh oh. Attention, Commander. You must. I better get out of here. I forgot to request docking permission. Uh, easy, easy mistake. They'll get over it. Ah, uh, I got a 400 credit fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's cost of doing business. Yeah, well, it's a cost to get inside tracked and talking to people. Oh, and they're, they're opening fire on someone in there. Let's just watch this. There's a big ship in there that they're just carving it up. I don't want to get... Hit it. It's what we wanted to hit it. You'll get, you'll get the bounty. Actually, no, you get in trouble. You're not allowed to weapons. Um. Okay, let's have a look. What time is it? It just hit 9.30, so there'll be new missions. Alright, uh, good, sir. By the time I get back... Oh, oh yes. Hit the mother load. Oh, maybe. I've hit a, got a few. Oh, yeah. I've hit the mother load. Hit the mother load. Oh yeah. How many did I just collect? What do we got here? And then yeah, another one. One was at like 800 and the other one was half a mil or something. 
Oh, here's some, some more. Oh, man, here, this is the big payload I've been waiting for today. And this is the one just to demonstrate to all those YouTubers out there. When it hits the payload like that, that's when you get big cash rewards. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, 14 missions by the looks of it. I like trying to piss off this defense thing. <laughs> You're really living dangerously trying to do that. Oh, well, I can't, I can't get close enough to do it. I keep going, no, looking too close. Bugger off. I enter where I want, alright? Gold dream, if you haven't forgotten. there. Oh, that's Skeleton's Ghost again. Hello again, Skeleton's Ghost. What's that? That's an eagle. What's that? Commander Chaos Onaga. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Did they start shooting at you? I'm scanned at it. It said trespass as soon as I finished. Yeah. And they started attacking you? Yeah. Oh, well, apparently. Oh my god, I've finished it already. I didn't even have to land. This is the second time it's done this, that I haven't even had to land. It hasn't even finished searching for the outpost. And like, it kind of sounds like you're complaining. <laughs> I'd be like, joink. No, I'm, I'm, I'm exasperating. Yeah, so they shot at me. I managed to piss off real quick though, so joke's on them. Oh, there's ships all over the place here. Please observe a minimum clearance distance while conducting flight operations. What? I just got a credit, a fine for reckless flying causing damage, caused damage. I think I collided with someone and got a fine for it. Yeah, you do. And it was an actual player too, not an NPC. Okay, so I'm at 100, 900,000. Let's see what happens at the end of this. Okay, 108, 500. So that was almost 8 million on that run. The only ones I really need to do work with are the the drug dealer smuggler group, the mafia people of the area, the you know, the Jet family. They are so the mafia, I mean, you know, they want me to smuggle... No, they don't want me to smuggle anything because I'm not allied enough with them. I'm not in with the family. I'm so close to getting in with the the Jet family, but it's... Yeah? Yeah, yeah you would be in with the Mafia a lot. Yeah, I can wait. Here we go, Jet family. Bucket loads of smuggling jobs. <laughs> That's all they want, is smuggling jobs. Okay, well, that is... That will do it for now. I'm now at 111 million, which, if I remember correctly, I started at 97, so I've made nearly 15 million credits. It's now 10.02, and I started around about 8.30, I believe. So, we're looking at an hour and a half's work for 15 million credits. That gives you an idea on how much you actually can make doing this. Uh, little exploit, which is, it's dubious on how much there's a little bit of exploit there to switching between modes. Other than that, it's just waiting for the, the missions to come in. You can pretty much take the missions, go out, do them, come back, and you can do a set of missions every 15 minutes. It's not that difficult to achieve that. So there we have it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the void or on the next video.